Hey everyone, recently we were facing issues with this Apple Watch where we see our Apple Watches get stopped. Although as you can see right over here, it is actually connected with this device, which is iPhone 12, but right now it is not working at all. So if you guys are having this problem, it's because maybe you are watching this video, we're going to be showing you how you can fix this problem. Well, first of all, it is a very common thing that you can try be doing on your Apple Watch is to give it a soft reset on your Apple Watch. And to do that, go ahead and press and hold that power button and the crown button together. Keep holding it until you see that your Apple Watch get restarted. Now release this button as soon as you see this Apple logo appears on your Apple Watch. Well, although we have done a reset on our Apple Watch, but it's still not working, don't worry, we have a last process that we're going to be doing or we're going to be showing in order to fix this problem. All right, everyone, so right now, as you can see, this Apple Watch is connected with this iPhone 12. So now all you can do, just you simply can go ahead and open your, your Apple Watch apps on your iPhone and then come over here, tap all watches. And once you're here on the screen, make sure to tap on this eye option right over here. And now simply go ahead and tap unpair Apple Watch and now tap unpair Apple Watch from here. Now go ahead and enter your Apple ID password. I'm just going to go ahead and enter my password here. Afterward, go ahead and tap unpair. Well, now as you can see, this Apple Watch is unpairing. Now just wait a while unless our Apple Watch is start working. Right now, as you can see, it is unpairing from this device. Now all you need to do, you need to just wait until it's completely unpaired. Now it is completely unpaired. All right, guys, these are the literal way that you can use in water to fix this problem, especially if you are having this problem all of a sudden, okay? So now this problem is solved. Now all you need to do is just go ahead and pair your Apple Watch again, and then your Apple Watch will be ready to use. All right, guys, that's it for now. Hopefully your video was helpful. If you think so, you can just let us know in the comment box. If you guys are having still problem happening with your Apple Watch, you can also let us know in the comment box. And that's all about this video.